For today's episode, I want to create a tornado man. Without using photos or photo bashing, I just want to digitally paint it completely from scratch. So let me walk you through the process. As usual, I started in the sketch, I had several references from Pinterest, and then I decided to divide the character into several different portions, like torso, arms, back part, head. In that way, it's much easier for me to draw on separate parts and correct them if needed separately. After that, I used my special Cloud Dust Smoke brush to populate the torso of Tornado with the darkest tone from the color palette. You can find the link for the brush down there in the description if you are interested. And also I created a new layer, clip it to affect only the layer down below, the base layer, and then I started painting with the brighter tones from the color palette to create the tornado shape. I have a separate tutorial on how to create tornado step by step, so you can watch it on the link right here if you want that. And uh, now as you can see, it's everything is just a matter of painting, having fun, enjoying the process, I really love that. And this is really nice exercise for you to dodge and burn and in general digital paint the character using just a few brushes, colors and do everything in Photoshop. Pro tip, press R on the keyboard, rotate the canvas and easier paint the lines. Also for this type of artworks it's much easier to use pen with depression sensitivity and a tablet instead of a mouse. It's not impossible to do this with a mouse but with a pen you have more control and you are more precise and it's easier, more fun to work with. And the pen tablets are pretty cheap these days, the price starts from 20 something US dollars and you can get the cheapest one if you don't want to invest too much, it will be much easier even with the cheapest tablets on the market than using a mouse. Now that I finished with the torso, it's time for the head, exactly the same principles, painting the head with the darkest tone as a base layer, then new layer, clip at the top of that layer and painting with the brightest tone to create a tornado shape. The advantage of splitting the Tornado Man into separate different parts as separate layers is that you can freely move heads, body, uh, arms, however you want and also transform it, warp it much easier than if it's all in one single layer and I'm really glad that I did that at the very beginning because later I will move and warp torso, head and a little bit of the arms and it's much easier for overall selection and uh, compositing later if you want to add something in the front, in the back of the model or in between the arms and the body and so on and so forth, this is a lifesaver. Also if you want to take a look at my PSD file for easier learning and better understanding what I did here, you can download it at my Patreon, the link is down there in the description.
This is where separating Tornado Man into segments gets really handy because now I can easily use Transform and Warp Tool to reshape the body, head and to reposition the arms. Here I'm using again my custom made Cloud Dust Smoke brush, another brush from the set to create that uh, dust, that smoke below the tornado and also another brush from the same set just to create a little bit more uh, details at the tornado itself. Also I will use my debris brush to create some part of debris uh, around the tornado and uh, that's basically it. Here I'm changing the background, I like the black background and also I would add the rim light because uh, I got the idea to add some kind of uh, lightning behind him and that's why the rim light is cool and I like how everything looks on the black background. And now it's time for Oniric. Oniric is an amazing plugin for realistic glow in Photoshop and with the press of a button you will have this kind of really cool effect. You can, you can do plenty of things there. I just wanted to create a simple glow and this is how it looks. It really adds to the scene, to the drama and the overall effect. I really, really love it. By the way, you can get Oniric on compositenation.com. Also, check out the link down there in the description. A little bit of color grading and final tweaking using Adobe Camera Raw and Nicolor FX Pro and this is a final result. Mm -hmm. 